standard form is a way of representing a large number or a small number without actually writing the whole number out. For example, 6 trillion is a large number. Instead of writing all those zeros, we can represent this number differently that's easier to write. 6 trillion in standard form is 6 times by 10 to the power of 12. Like in the previous video, we know that 10 to the power of 12 is equal to 1 trillion. So 6 times by 1 trillion is 6 trillion. Let's look at this number. This number in standard form is 5 times by 10 to the power of negative 8. Once again, like in the previous video, multiplying by 10 to the power of negative 8 is equivalent to the calculation of dividing by 100 million, which is equal to our original number. The main features of standard form are the first number is a number between 1 and 10, including 1, but not including 10. So the first number can be 1, 1.002, 3, 4.5, 8.02, or even 9.9999. The first number cannot equal to numbers such as 10, 0 0.5, or even 0 0.99, as they are outside our criteria. The second part of standard form is the first number is multiplied by 10. So not multiplied by 2, or 5, or any other number that is not 10 not even negative numbers. The last part of standard form is the power of the 10 has to be an integer. This means the power cannot be a fraction, decimal, or a number like pi. But the number can be any positive or negative whole number, like 2, 5, 9, negative 5, or negative 3. Looking at these numbers, what is wrong with them? What needs to change for them to be in standard form? Pause and have a go at identifying why these numbers are not in standard form. For the first question, everything is fine except for the power on the 10. The power must be a whole number. The next question, the first number is less than 1. It must be between 1 and 10, but not equal to 10 or equal to 1. The next question, the numbers being divided instead of being multiplied. The following question, the first number is greater than 10 instead of being between 1 and 10, and it's being multiplied by 5 instead of being multiplied by 10. The last question has none of the parts that make a standard form. It is just an ordinary number. So to summarize, standard form is an easy way of representing large and small numbers. The first number must always be between 1 and 10, where 10 is not included, but could equal to 1. That first number must be followed by a multiplication of 10, and the power on top of the 10 must be an integer.